guys, it's back me Anthony and today I'll be Lunar New Year. Book number 39. Since it's getting, since it's the new year, I'm going to be reading Lunar New Year. On the first day of the Chinese calendar, the new moon is in the sky and the stars shine bright. It's time for a big celebration. This festival is known by many names. Chinese New Year, Spring Festival, and Lunar New Year. It marks the passage of the harvest season that celebrates the coming spring. Each New Year is represented by one of 12 different animals of the Chinese zodiac. The animals are the rats, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, goat, monkey, rooster, dog, and pig. Before the New Year celebration began, we clean our homes and ourselves. This symbolizes washing away anything bad from last year and starting fresh. We feast and celebrate with our family because Lunar New Year is about preparing for good luck in the coming year. So it's also about family and honoring our ancestors. Many of the holiday's traditions come from a very old tale. There's an ancient Chinese legend that tells of a monster named Nian, like the head of a bull and the body of an ox. Once a year, come out hiding and scare people. But the monster was afraid of these three things. The loud cracking of burning bamboo or firecrackers, the color red, and the bright lights of lanterns. Tonight we light bozo or firecrackers. Lanterns and fireworks. We hang red signs of blessings to keep men away. Red symbolizes good luck. We also display other things that represent luck, such as the Chinese character Fu, elaborate knots and paper cuttings with beautiful words or pictures. The Lunar New Year celebrations last 15 days. During the first days, we visit our friends and family. We stay up all night enjoying the company of one another. We eat dumplings filled with all sorts of delicious meats and vegetables. Because the dumplings are shaped like yuan bao, an ancient kind of money, we hope that they will bring wealth and prosperity in the coming year. Children also receive red envelopes with money from their parents, grandparents, and other family members and friends. These are called Hong Bao. This tradition comes from the legend of an evil spirit called Sui. Parents used to thread eight coins on a red string and place them under their children's pillow to protect them from the spirit. On the 15th night, the full moon returns to the sky. We honor the end of Lunar New Year with the Lantern Festival. We celebrate with parades led by people dressed as 
dragons and lions. These animals bring us good fortune and luck. And together, and we gather once more with our friends and family to eat sticky rice balls. This special food is round like the full moon, and it reminds us to live the new year in harmony and happiness. I hope you guys enjoyed this book. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!